Hi guys, it's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do your quick fire reading for the weekend. Um, and this consists of one card per day for the following week. So it is for the week of Monday 26th of April to the 2nd of May. I do one card per day for each star sign. No clarifications, no oracles. What you get is what you get. Um, very brief overview for the following week. So the way I go through this is I go back two weeks to the weekly readings and see who's had the most viewing time. That sign will be up first um, and then following in any no particular order for the elements. But um, Pisces had the most viewing time last fortnight. So I've got element order of water, fire, earth and air. And um, as I always say, it's general reading only. Just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Any number synchronicities that may occur and cross watches are welcome. Now, for those that don't know, I've just come home from work. I've, I'm on my week off, supposedly, from the fever clinic. And on Monday, they rang me and said, oh, we need somebody in the mental health unit for a few months. And you start tomorrow. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm out of the fever clinic and I'm now in the mental health unit. And I start later in the morning. So I've been able to get some of the monthly readings started and they'll be uploaded tomorrow. And also I finish a bit later. So it's like coming home and it's um, trying to get some done as well. So some planning to be involved here but yeah love it so far so bit of variety bit of difference but I don't know why I'm shuffling those because no oracles <laughs> so, but um yeah I don't think there's anything else that I need to say um thank you thank you thank you though to everyone who is subscribing so much appreciated it's like I had the 700 back <laughs> it's like yay <laughs> think I'm up to 708 so um, yeah so do very much appreciate it I love doing these I'm getting a few more comments along the way as well so that's quite cool <coughs> so I do read them all I do reply and um, might be a bit of a basic reply but <laughs> I do reply and um, yeah so it's awesome but anyway, we might as well just get straight into it so I can get this done and started to get started. Starting, start, <laughs> start to get this uploaded. And um, yeah, so we'll begin with Pisces. One card per day for the upcoming week. Apart from someone who can't shuffle, we'll see what we get for you. Pisces overall for the week you do have the four of cups so maybe a bit of tunnel vision maybe a bit stubborn here just being focused on one particular thing or person even but um, wanting to shift that vision around see what else is on offer in these other cups maybe something bigger and better okay Monday Prince of Cups there's love here love coming into on off to on offer to you and it may be you even going to offer this love to somebody else so right at the start of the week yeah there's love Tuesday the chariot could be dealing with a cancer but getting everything into alignment getting some movement happening getting some forward momentum that chariot may have been pulled apart in different directions in the past and come to a standstill so um, getting yourself back into alignment so you can take off again Wednesday equal give and take equally balanced is going to allow that chariot to move forward freely so making sure that things are equal give and take um, six of Pentacles always say don't do all the giving and no taking because then somebody's doing all the taking and no giving so as well needs to be balanced as I said for that chariot to be moving freely 
Love it. Thursday could be dealing with a Libra, but there's justice here. Fair outcome, reward for your hard work, and could be monetary, could be legal, um, in, in a sense of that justice. For others of you, it is just success for, for the hard work you've put in. Good karma that's coming around. Love it. Friday. Love it. The sun. Okay, so a sense of freedom and release. Maybe this justice is kicking in here. Finally, things are moving into place, falling into place for you, and um, giving you all that happiness that you are looking for there. So that's awesome. Saturday, you've got the Queen of Cups. So proud of how far you've come emotionally. You may have been through a bit of drama um, previously, but um, coming out with the Queen of Cups, so very much in getting control of your emotions. A lot of love and happiness around there. Loving, nurturing energy that is around um, with that Four of Cups. I said maybe something bigger and better out the side there. And you finish with another queen on Sunday, Queen of Swords, a more direct, honest approach towards something or someone. So maybe a different approach than what you would usually take, but it is almost like clearing the air. Everyone's on the same table and you know um, where you want to be heading towards with that, having that clarity. So love that. So we'll see what the universe has to say for you, Pisces. Pretty good week overall like that Hope that flows through for everyone nine of Pentacles king of cups knight of swords yeah, looking for success possibly when it comes to um, getting control of your emotions, this love and happiness around, but it's also saying slow down, think things through clearly, don't go rushing in, don't be too hasty. Again, possibly when it comes to love and getting control of these emotions here. So Pisces, that is what I have for you for the week. So I do hope it helped. If you click that like and subscribe button down there, Thanks for watching, and we move on to Cancer. So what do we have for you? One card per day for the week. I don't know, but <laughs> from Wednesday to Sunday, every card is a major arcana card. So <laughs> a pretty powerful week for you, Cancer. But overall, six of cups. So could be an ex trying to come back, a reconciliation card. Others of you, it may be butterfly in your tummies, playful energy, fond memories that you're thinking about for the week. So um, that may p pertain to you in either way. Monday, seven of pentacles. A lot of hard work right at the start of the week to get everything to start falling into place. There's always loose ends that need tidying up and as something gets sorted out, you know, five more things might come up that needs looking after. So, but you're putting in that hard work right at the start of the week to keep everything into place there. Tuesday, you have got the Four of Cups, so tunnel visions, bit of stubbornness here, just focused on one particular cup, maybe a situation, maybe a person, but either way, it's starting to try and shift your vision around a bit, so you can still see what other options are there for you, and um, checking them out, because they may be bigger and better. Right, into all these major arcanas, Wednesday, Cancer, you've got strength. Okay, could be dealing with a Leo. So midweek, things might be starting to to build up a bit with the Seven of Pentacles at the start. Strength, it's taking strength to get through through from there there on in. 
Thursday, maybe somebody with you to help ease that burden there. So it um, could be dealing with a Gemini, but the lovers could be somebody significant here. Soulmate twin flame, it may be an existing relationship, or you may be meeting somebody brand new. Maybe existing, maybe an ex, maybe somebody brand new. Friday, you've got the moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Okay, hidden fears, but when things are darker and greyer, okay, so the sun goes down, the moon will come up and shine a clearer path for you to be able to see clearly of where you're heading towards. With that shining there, you've gone into Saturday with the Hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo, doing some soul searching, some self-reflection here, but also there's light at the end of the tunnel maybe the light that this moon is actually shining brightly for you to follow that and you finish also dealing with the Pisces with the High Priestess card so it's um, not wanting to let your guard down too much but being very observant very aware of what's going on around you um, watching and listening and um, taking note of everything maybe especially around that Six of Cups um, very aware of what's going on so cancer we're going to see what the universe has to say for you So you get King of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Eight of Wands. So there is success and abundance here. Possibly getting control of finances, but everything is settling down and into that successful stage. It does come with its own set of overthinking. Um, you know, sometimes success comes in with um, the wheels, the cogs turning over and over. Keeping you awake at night, maybe causing a bit of stress there, but at the same time, here we may ease that because keeping the communication flowing, keeping it open and honest, maybe some decisions that need to be made quickly, but making sure everybody's on the same page there. So it may as well pertain to the Six of Cups, making sure everyone's on the same page. So Cancer, that is what I have for you for the week. I do hope it helped. If you click that like and subscribe button down there. And thanks for watching. And we move on to Scorpio. Scorpio, let's see what we've got for the upcoming week for you here. Okay. okay Scorpio, so overall it's a lot of hard work going in here for the week to keep everything in place. Through this reading it looks like it may take some of this energy, some of that effort to keep things together. Always loose ends to tidy up. As you sort one thing out, five more obstacles might pop up that need sorting out. So the hard work that is going in overall for the week. Okay, Monday, right at the start of the work, of the work, don't know where I got that from, right at the start of the week, <laughs> there's love with the two of cups. Whether you know this or not, somebody here that wants to be on this journey with you, help ease the burden of the week and um, problem shared is a problem halved so that's right at the start on Monday Cancer just got this on Tuesday as well four of cups quite stubborn quite focused just on one particular area or one particular person maybe so shifting that vision around to see what the other cups do have on offer something maybe bigger and better that's on offer there for you checking those out checking those out chicken <laughs> Okay, love on Wednesday, King of Cups, getting control of your emotions. Um, things may have been rocky out here further, but getting some alignment back, getting some emotional stability back, some happiness here when it does come to love. 
Thursday, you've got the Five of Wands, okay, so there could be some conflict, some drama that is happening throughout the week, midweek, maybe this hard work that's needed to be put in here, but um, also maybe not wanting to get involved in everyone else's drama, you know, you're dealing with your own stuff, it's like this might be everybody else's conflict and drama and you're actually just sitting back going, mm, don't want to bail that. Because you have got this on Friday, you've got the Deceiver, so it could be dealing with a Capricorn. So there is some sort of negative or toxic energy that's hanging around, maybe an addiction of some sort, whether that's within, it could be somebody close to you, or just feeling stuck and bound to this energy that keeps just, it just doesn't go anywhere, it just doesn't disappear. So um, again, this may be the hard work needed throughout the week to try and break that energy up on Friday. If you go into Saturday, the chariot could be dealing with a cancer here, but getting yourself back into alignment, getting things balanced, and getting this movement happening again. So in the past, you may have been pulled in different directions with everybody wanting you to do this, that, and everything else, and your chariot actually came to a grinding halt. So this is just getting everything back into balance and getting that um, momentum going again. And you finish the week on Sunday, it may cause some stress and anxiety, overthinking of things, of how do I break this energy up for a start that's hanging around there, and how do I get this moving again. Okay, so just um, Nine of Swords there, possibly some overthinking, but again, overall you've got this hard work that you do put in for the week, and it's the start. Whether you know it or not, there's love on that journey with you. Um, so we will see what the universe has to say, Scorpio. Try and clear some of that up. Ace of Pentacles, Five of Wands again, but then you've got the Sun. Love, love, love that. Okay, so a chance for a brand new beginning, brand new successful beginning. Okay, love that, beautiful. Might come with some conflict, some disagreements. So we've already got the Five of Wands here on Thursday. Okay, so taking care of that when needed to come out with that. Okay, sense of freedom, a sense of release, breaking this energy up here and allowing this happiness and that joy to come flowing through so beautiful love that so scorpio that is what i have for you i do hope it helped if you click that like and subscribe button down there and thanks for watching and we move on to fire signs we've got sagittarius so guys and girls what do we have for you one card per day for the upcoming week <clears throat> wow, okay, Sagittarius, overall, there's a win. Okay, victory for the week. Love that, beautiful. Okay, but there's something going on for you maybe, and it's coming out with this win outcome. So, awesome. Monday, Queen of Pentacles. So proud of your successes, proud of your achievements. You've put a lot of hard work in to get to where you are today, and it's starting to pay off, and you're quite proud of um, yeah, what you've gained along the way. Love that. Tuesday, there's love, whether you're offering this love, somebody may be coming in and offering it to you, but the Prince of Cups, definitely wanting to come in, be on this journey with you, and um, work together, beautiful. Wednesday, something to celebrate, so whether it's this success here, this win outcome here, might be celebrating love, okay, but getting together, whether virtually online, or getting together in person, celebrating some sort of success there 
Thursday, Eight of Cups. So some sort of emotional attachment that you are walking away from. Somebody may even be walking away from you. It doesn't mean it has to be somebody significant. Um, it's just, just an energy that's not needed anymore. It's not serving you and can quite gladly be left behind there. Friday, brand new beginning. Walking away from that into this brand new beginning on Friday. Brand new successful beginning brand new opportunity and starting a new chapter of some sort might be love might be after this win and you go on on saturday you've got the emperor so very intuitive very aware of your own feelings what's going on in the world around you and what's um, how others are feeling that are close to you okay you're very aware and um perceptive to what is happening so love that you do finish on sunday four of swords okay you may have had a busy week and it's like come sunday it's time for you time time out everybody does this everybody needs this at some stage and it's a big step even saying i just need some me time but you've got that there on sunday okay so sagittarius we will see what the universe has to say a niggly cough from, um, from last week but at least I don't have to pause the video all the time like I did <laughs> for some last week it's crazy okay Sagittarius you got the Queen of Cups death and the ten of swords beautiful loving nurturing energy it is here it's around you it's um, flowing here for you so beautiful to have there death card could be dealing with a Scorpio but releasing any energy that's not needed leaving that behind the eight of cups walking away there into this brand new chapter which you've also got there love that beautiful and ten of swords you've been through a painful cycle this may be the energy that you're leaving behind because the ten is coming to the end done and dusted coming out overall for the week with that win with that victory so Sagittarius that's what I have for you for the week I do hope it helped if you click that like and subscribe button down there and thanks for watching and we move on to Aries so Aries let's see what you've got here else had that on Monday okay so Aries overall four of swords so needing time out maybe just for yourself okay going through some self-healing here everybody does this everybody does need to do this at some stage it's a big step to say okay it's time for myself time for me and looking after number one that's overall for the week so maybe a bit happening for you but anyway, Monday, there's love, okay? Two of Cups. Love's on this journey with you, whether you know it or not, but somebody significant here that may be wanting to be on, as I said, be on this journey and problem shared is a problem halved. The two of you together may go through this and um, get things sorted there. Maybe meeting somebody brand new right at the start. Tuesday transition could be dealing with a Scorpio but releasing any energy that's not needed anymore it's not working for you okay and riding into this brand new beginning this brand new chapter new chapter new start beautiful Wednesday even though you're doing that there may be something that you're not ready to let go of just yet maybe a person it may be a situation of some sort you're remaining balanced while you're hanging on to what you've got here Thursday you go into glove king of cups okay you've got control of your emotions here very happy very stable and very much maybe um, 
love around you. Here it is too, at the beginning of the week. Okay, Friday, Seven of Swords. So there is some sort of deceptive energy that's ready to be left behind, ready to pick up swords, so to speak, and walk off and take what serves you. Leaving anything else behind that's not working for you, you don't need that energy around you there. Maybe kicking in here, okay, I need some me time. Okay, Saturday, you've got the chariot. Could be dealing with the cancer, but you may have been you know pulled in different directions and your chariot came to a grinding halt come to a sudden stop okay but getting things back into balance and alignment getting some momentum and forward movement happening and getting that chariot moving you do finish on sunday with some sort of drama or conflict or arguments or disagreements here it could even you know you could be directly involved it may be that um, other people close to you are involved in this and you're just not wanting to get involved with whatever's happening there maybe just type taking time for yourself so Aries we will see what the universe has to say Eight of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so again, feeling like you're in a stalemate situation. You can't move forward any further. This is it. Okay, but take this blindfold off. There's actually nothing stopping you in, or standing in front of your way here. But it's also saying if there is obstacles, find other ways around things. Detour, divert off course for a bit and continue your journey that way. Okay, don't turn your back that you do miss some of these opportunities. You're very focused, you're very dedicated, paying attention to detail and working really hard, but um, maybe super focused, so to speak. But this wheel starts turning in your favor, giving you that oomph and that movement forward. Okay, help to push this chariot forward, all about movement, maybe to good luck, good fortune. Okay, so Aries, that's what I have for you for the week. I do hope it helped. If you click that like and subscribe button down there, thanks for watching. And we move on to Leo. So Leo, one card per day for the upcoming week. What do you get? Apart from someone who can't shuffle. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think that's really working. Look at that. <clears throat> Nothing but a mess. Right, Leo. So Leo, overall for the week, you've got choices and options presented here in front of you. So as you choose one cup, seven more appear. You choose the next one, seven more appear. So many options to look at. Don't be overwhelmed by them. Take your time, check each one out carefully and see what each one is going to lead you towards there. Make that choice that's right for you. Monday, Princess of Cups, there's love here, so whether this is coming in to offer you love, somebody may be wanting to come in, you may, be, you may be going to offer love to somebody, and somebody may be coming in to offer this to you, but either way, somebody is ready to be on this journey with you there. Tuesday, could be dealing with a Virgo, but you've got the Hermit here, seeing light at the end of the tunnel, doing some soul searching, self-reflection here. And finally seeing, okay, this is the way I can be headed now. And away you go. Wednesday. Could be dealing with the Pisces, the moon, hidden fears. So when things are darker and greyer, allowing this to light and shine a clear path for you when it's a bit darker. And that could be that light at the end of the tunnel to be heading towards. Don't be afraid of the moon there. 
So Thursday, Leo, you've got the King of Wands. Getting control of your vision, where you're wanting to head towards. You know, that moon's lighting up that path. It's like hold that vision now of where you want to be going towards, where you want to be headed. And yeah, going for it. Friday, you do have the Seven of Pentacles. Working so hard to get everything to fall into place, to stay where it should be in place. Always loose ends to tidy up as one bit gets sorted out. Five more things might pop up that need looking after, but you've got that hard working energy here to make sure that things stay together. So love that. So Leo, Saturday, Queen of Pentacles, proud of your hard work and your achievements that you've um, secured along the way. Okay, good luck, good fortune here with the Queen of Pentacles and quite proud of what you have earned. Um, you've worked really hard to get that. And you finish on Sunday with the Eight of Swords. So feeling like you're stuck, you can't move forward any further. You've got this much success. You may shift the goalpost a bit. You may find other ways around things to carry on your journey to the next level. So um, with that Eight of Swords, don't be afraid of um, things popping up to try and block you because you can always divert off course and continue that journey. Okay, so Leo, we will see what the universe has to say for you. King of Wands, Four of Wands, Three of Cups. Yeah, something to celebrate here. Getting control of your dreams and your visions and your goals, where you're actually heading towards. Okay, seeing the bigger picture, making sure things are stable and clear. Step up in commitment maybe for some of you. And talking about um, that stability. So it could be a job, permanent job, could be buying a home, maybe a commitment issue, um, issue not an issue either, commitment that's being made personally okay and something to celebrate some reason to celebrate that commitment and stability there so getting together with people friends family virtually online maybe still but um, definitely something to celebrate for the week so Leo love that that's what I have for you for the week I do hope it helped if you click that like and subscribe button down there thanks for watching and we move on to Earth Signs, Virgo. So Virgo, one card per day for the upcoming week. Let's see what you've got. My tummy's grumbling. I had lunch, <laughs> but I'm... Um, I said every time after lunch my tummy starts grumbling all afternoon. It's insane. All right, Virgo. So Virgo, overall you've got the Four of Pentacles, so not wanting to release anything or you're still hanging on to something here, whether it's someone, whether it's something, but remaining balanced at the same time, but definitely not wanting to let go of some sort of energy just yet, overall for the week. Monday, you have got transition, dealing with the Scorpio maybe, but this is talking about letting go of things, okay, that's not serving you, it's not needed, writing into the brand new chapter, right at the start of the week, new beginnings, and um, new chapter starting, so yeah, Tuesday, Nine of Cups, there's emotional love and happiness here, it's around you, it's close to you, and you're very aware that it's right there for the taking, so love that with the Nine of Cups. Love, love, love. Wednesday, judgment. Keeping an open mind. So people may be judging you, possibly when it comes to love. And others of you, you know, don't be judging other people. It does work both ways. But keep an open mind. Listen to both sides of the story by all means. But make your decisions with a clear open mind. Um, saying don't be, don't be quite close-minded um, about a situation or someone. Thursday, 
takes strength to do that too. So it could be dealing with a Leo here, but um, you know, midweek, keeping an open mind, making a judgment call there may take strength to make that final call, whatever that's about. So Virgo, Friday, Five of Pentacles. So feeling abandoned, left out or isolated, left out in the cold or blocked maybe, or something is out of reach. This card um, pack can particularly, completely I was going to say, no, particularly, they're trying to reach this top pentacle. It's out of reach at the moment, getting control of that situation and making something obtainable. Saturday, your wishes and your dreams and your hopes. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, wishing correctly in order for this to become a reality. So love that card. Beautiful. The star card. And you finish with all these options. Okay, so you choose one cup here, seven more appear. Choose one there, seven more appear. Every path takes a different um, way and choose what's right for you. Don't be overwhelmed. Check each one out carefully and make your decision from there. Okay, so Virgo, we will see what the universe has to say. Page of Pentacles, the Tower, and the King of Swords. Beautiful. Okay, so somebody coming in, wanting to work with you for the week. Very sure that they can make a successful go of things with you here. Okay, allowing this tower to explode, releasing any energy not needed. Maybe finally letting go of something here, and building a solid new foundation from the ground up and using your head over your heart, thinking things through clearly and logically, very level-headed, very honest, open and clear with communication here. So Virgo, love that. That's what I have for you for the week. I do hope it helped. If you click that like and subscribe button down there, and thanks for watching, and we move on to Taurus. Okay, so Taurus, let's see what we've got for you here for the upcoming week. Okay, so Taurus, overall, you've got a, got a crossroads situation here. Sitting on the fence, biding your time, not sure which path to take. So taking a blindfold off, looking at each path clearly of where it can actually lead you to and making a clear, open-minded decision on where you're going to be heading towards for the week. Monday, Prince of Swords. Make sure you do think things through clearly. Right at the start of the week, it's talking about don't go rushing into things. Don't be hasty. Slow down. Think things through clearly and logically there. I'm somebody that usually jumps and feed and all and then thinks later, oh, <laughs> maybe you shouldn't have done that. <laughs> okay, Tuesday, Five of Swords. It's a battle. It's a battle to gain control and not jump into things. <laughs> this is it. Okay, but either way, it's a battle if you fight and stay and fight, sorry, for what you believe in here, that's a victory. Sometimes you need to walk away from things, the battle's just banging your head against a brick wall, that's a victory. So either way, even though there's a battle that's going on, it may be internally, it may be what's happening around you, um, coming out with that victory, with that level-headed and clear thinking, decision-making there. And I love it. Wednesday, Queen of Swords, being very upfront, very honest, maybe a bit blunt and open about what's going on. Everyone being on the same page, taking a different approach towards something or someone and um, getting that good outcome there. 
and you go into Thursday, so Taurus, you've got the full. So it could be, as I said, jumping in, both feet and all, taking a risk, taking a leap of faith to get things moving here. So don't get anywhere, though, without taking chances along the way. So, yep, some people, but give it a go. Friday, you've got the Princess of Wands, so very compassionate energy, very giving energy here. So willing to share your dreams and your ideas and your goals with others, and that may help clear up this crossroads situation here and um, go through this journey. Saturday, a painful cycle that you have actually been through. Maybe the battle on Tuesday, but um, could be a lot of gossip and a lot of backstabbing that's going on, but this cycle is finishing done and dusted, the 10, finito, because you come out at the end of the week, stability, step up in commitments, so maybe around home, maybe around work, maybe personal, okay, but very much getting that stability in place here, step up in commitment maybe, something to celebrate with that, so love that. Okay, so Taurus, we will see what the universe has to say. The moon, judgment, and the four of pentacles. This could be dealing with a Pisces, talking about hidden fears. I'm a Pisces, I say don't be fearful of me. When things are darker and grayer, this moon will shine a clear path, like the yellow brick road, I say, like Dorothy and Toto, that you can follow there. So don't be afraid of that energy there. Keeping an open mind, listening to both sides of the story, but not judging others, not letting them come in and judge you as well. It does work both ways with that judgment card. Okay, and not wanting to release something here, whether it's somebody, whether it's something, but you're hanging on to something here for dear life, but at the same time, you do remain balanced with the way these pentacles are, but you're just not ready to let go of something just yet. All right, so Taurus, that is what I have for you for the week. I do hope it helped. If you click that like and subscribe button down there, and thanks for watching, and we move on to Capricorn. So Capricorn, let's see what we've got here for you for the upcoming week. Getting dark, what is dark? Love that start to the week. Okay, overall, could be dealing with a Pisces. You have got the High Priestess. Okay, so being quite guarded, being very observant, but not wanting to let this guard down and let everything come flooding in and overwhelm you. So just biding your time, being intuitive and aware of what's going on around you for the week. Okay, Capricorn, Monday, bam, brand new love, <laughs> okay. Could be an existing relationship, new chapter here, maybe meeting a brand new love, it may be buying a house that you love or getting a job that you love. Anything around you love. Tuesday, Princess of Wands, very compassionate and giving energy here, willing to share your dreams and your goals and your ideas with others. Maybe this new love. But compassionate energy on Tuesday, love that. Wednesday, there is some emotional loss and grief that is still hanging, hanging around or being hung on to here. Okay, but also being aware that there is other loving energy around you. Hello? And, um, and using that intuition, being aware, observant, knowing that energy is around you to help heal whatever it is that you're going through here. Everybody goes through this in their own time. Don't let others come in and say, hurry up and move on. It's time you got over it, etc. Do this in your own, own way. But at the same time, don't forget there is that energy, a loving energy around you still. 
Thursday, so Capricorn, choices, options. Always have options in front of you. Check each one out carefully. You open this cup or option and seven more appear. You open one here, seven more appear. So everybody chooses differently. Everybody should check each option out carefully and see where it actually may lead you. Maybe choosing something different there. Friday leads you may to maybe leads you maybe no maybe leads you <laughs> to the success and abundance with the king of pentacles getting control of your finance and getting um, a successful outcome with what's happening throughout the week beautiful energy there saturday you've got the three of pentacles collaboration maybe with this new love and building a solid foundation together but making sure the plans are done the details are in place what is it dot the i's and cross the t's and build that solidly so love that too you do finish on sunday with a bit of conflict a bit of disagreements and um maybe a bit of drama that you're not wanting to get involved in could be why you're actually sitting back here and it's like not wanting to get involved in all this that's happening on sunday but we will see what the universe has to say and try and clear that up Okay, so Capricorn, let's see what the universe has to say. Oops. Oops, didn't even pick them all up. <laughs> Nine of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. So quite a bit of stress and anxiety, overthinking of things. Somebody says overanalysis paralysis. Those cogs are turning in your head, causing you to stay awake at night and just, <coughs> sorry, and just think, 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 think. And it may be unnecessary as well, but as well, trying to get things back into control of a situation trying to get things back into a balance and alignment there with the two of pentacles but here you are love it putting all that hard work in to make sure things start to fall back into place here always loose ends that need tidying up but as that gets sorted five more might pop out look at all these options that are available but um, you have got that very hard working ethic and energy there to see that through so Capricorn, that's what I have for you for the week. I do hope it helped. If you click that like and subscribe button down there. And thanks for watching. And we finish with air signs. So we've got Aquarius. I heard that song on the radio today, Age of Aquarius. I haven't heard that since I don't know when. So... Like, oh. Okay, so Okay, so Aquarius, overall King of Wands, getting control of your visions and your dreams and your goals, holding that vision and away you go love that overall for the week awesome monday holding that vision <laughs> prince of wands okay um maybe a bit of a rocky ride to get to this outcome here or where you're heading towards this outcome and um holding that vision and staying on board and seeing things through throughout the week Tuesday, Princess of Pentacles. Somebody wants to come in and work with you on something, make a successful go of things. It's um, your decision. Do I do this? Don't I do this? Do it alone or go with somebody here and help help with that journey. I think you might actually choose to go with somebody. Wednesday, Six of Pentacles, equal give and take. Make sure that if you do all the giving and no taking, somebody's doing all the taking and no giving. So make sure that it is equally balanced out is what I'm trying to say there because I think I said that wrong. <laughs> okay, but making sure that things are balanced. <coughs> Thursday, Queen of Cups, 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 Queen of
Thursday. You have got the hanged one, so a bit of indecision, as I said, do I or don't I accept this offer of um, collaboration? Sitting on the fence, biding your time, not really ready to make a decision either way on what's happening there. Friday, temperance, doing things in moderation, not overindulging in things, but keeping that movement going, okay? The temperance, pouring cup of water from one to the other, so things don't get overflowed, things don't overflow <laughs> and um, and get out of balance which you just had there with the six pentacles Saturday there's success here proud of your achievements proud of how far you've come you've worked really hard to earn this and you're kind of quite protective of like I've done this and look at what I've got now <coughs> love it I haven't got my juice on the table Okay, and you finish the week. Sunday, could be dealing with a Pisces. You've got the High Priestess. So not wanting to let your guard down too much. Not wanting to be overwhelmed with everything coming in all at once when you open these floodgates. So you're biding your time, sitting back, watching and listening what's going on around you. So observant. Awesome. Okay, so Aquarius, we will see what the universe has to say for you. video just froze then I was like no <laughs> I've got two to go right Aquarius six of cups the magician three of wands could be an ex trying to come back into the situation here okay others of you fond memories playful energy butterfly in your tummy's feeling again but I say it's possibly X because you may be actually manifesting for this to happen and seeing us seeing someone now for who they really are whether it's in a positive light seeing a situation for what it really is but either way happy memories maybe you're manifesting that to come back into your your surroundings seeing that bigger picture seeing things clearly Okay, so Aquarius, that is what I have for you for the week. I do hope it helped. If you click that like and subscribe button down there, and thanks for watching, and we move on to Gemini. So Gemini, one card per day for the upcoming week. Let's see what you've got. shuffle <laughs> so Gemini overall for the week making sure that things are balanced here equal give and take always say if somebody's doing all the giving and no taking that means that somebody else is doing all the taking and no giving so if there's teamwork involved in any way here make sure that things are equally balanced between the two of you Monday, at a crossroads, unsure which direction to take, take the blindfold off so you can look at each path clearly, each option clearly there, and make a clear decision from that. Tuesday, I think you do make a clear decision because now you've got focus, you've got vision of where you want to be heading towards, it's holding that vision and keeping that momentum going towards that goal that you're wanting to go after there. Legally and morally, I always say, but uh, <coughs> you're ready to follow that path. Love that. Wednesday, Wheel of Fortune. This is going to give you some momentum as well. So the wheel's turning for you. Good luck, good fortune, pushing you forward into something brilliant there. Got to love that. Thursday, you've got the Three of Pentacles. So building a solid foundation, maybe together making sure it's balanced sturdy solid from the ground up but putting the plans and details into place to make sure that it is solid 
just going to pause. I'm nearly finished, but I didn't bring the juice over, so i um, getting this tickle in my throat again. Right, so Gemini, Friday, Eight of Wands, keeping that um, communication open, keep it flowing, making sure that everyone's on the same page, everything is clear and out in the open. Maybe some decisions that need to be made quickly, but um, again, don't make these decisions until you know exactly what's going on, very clear with what's going on. Saturday, King of Cups, so in control of your emotions, there's a lot of love and happiness around you here, stability, and everything is in place where it should be, <coughs> emotionally. Maybe bringing this into balance here, overall for the week. And you finish on Sunday with judgment, listening to both sides of the story, keeping an open mind when listening to somebody else's version of things, okay, but don't judge others, but at the same time, don't let them come in and judge you as well. Again, works both ways, okay, so Gemini, we're going to see what the universe has to say for you. I've got one more to do then I can cough all I like <laughs> right Gemini yeah ten of cups eight of swords queen of cups there's love here it's emotional happiness and stability happy family life I say it doesn't always have to be mum dad two kids and the dog sometimes I say two dogs and the kid but either way there's emotional happiness and stability right there you may think that's it where else do we go from here? Shifting that goalpost, finding other ways around things if things are trying to stop you from moving forward. Detour, of course. Carry that journey on. Because there's love and emotional happiness around here. Loving, nurturing energy. Things might be rocky out here, but um, being aligned and everything's in control here. Proud of how far you've come um, emotionally there. So love that. Okay, so Gemini, that's what I have for you for the week. Do hope it helped. If you click that like and subscribe button down there, thanks for watching. And we finish with Libra. So Libra, one card per day for the upcoming week. Just started to get a tickly throat and <clears throat> coughing. And I've left my juice in the fridge, so I'm trying to get this finished. And at least start to get them uploaded and have a drink to fix my throat right so Libra as I said one card per day for the upcoming week awesome wow I want to be a Libra Okay, overall, Ten of Wands, so you've carried this heavy weight on your shoulders, this burden, doing everything on your own, okay, no assistance, but this cycle's finishing, done and dusted with the Ten, and it's, um, yeah, you're ready to move forward to the next area now, next energy now, all fresh, ready to go. Monday, start of the week, patience is required, Prince of Pentacles, this is also coming on from the 10 here, slowest moving energy slow in the pack, okay, so patience is a virtue, whatever's coming in on offer there might very well still be on its way, snail mail. Tuesday, could be dealing with a Leo, strength, take strength to take, to take patience, no, take strength to have patience, I'm not a very patient person at the best of times, so I get this when it's following on from that energy there. So putting that strength into play. Wednesday, creating a way to speed things up, make things happen, okay? So manifesting correctly in order for things to become a reality there, but you're putting all your power and your effort into this Magis card here, trying to make things happen or occur. Thursday, don't go rushing in, 
slow down, think things through clearly. You've got the Prince of Swords here. It is talking about don't go rushing in, don't be too hasty, and um, look at things clearly and slow down and make sure that that's processed there. Friday, it'll happen if it's meant to happen. Divine timing with the universe here. This does turn for you, okay? Sometimes it may be a bit faster, sometimes it may actually be a bit slower or a lot slower. But either way, this is turning in the background for you, divine timing. It'll happen if it happens, if it's meant to be, it will be, and so on. Let it happen naturally there. Saturday, you have got options, you've got choices, so if you choose this one, seven more appear. If you choose that one, seven more appear, and so on. That's the way of life, and it's like choosing what's right for you. So taking the time to check each one out carefully, what it actually does have to offer, what it can actually lead to, and um, making your choices that work for you from there. And you finish the week on Sunday. There's love here. So you could be offering this love to somebody. They may be coming to offer this to you. It may be brand new. It may be somebody existing. But either way, quite confident to make a go of things, the two of you. Whether you know it or not, maybe what's still on its way. Okay, so Libra, we will see what the universe has to say. Yet the Knight of Swords, Knight of Pentacles again, exactly the same card as Patience here, and the Nine of Wands. Okay, so also Prince of Swords, Knight of Swords. So you've got both of these cards, Monday and Thursday. One is saying, don't go rushing in, don't be too hasty, look at everything clearly and go from there. One's saying, I'm on my way. <laughs> It's slow, but yes, I'm on the way with this offer here. Okay, but you're feeling like you've overcome all these hurdles and obstacles. You may not be used to having a clear path in front of you, and it may give you this sense of double sided energy here with the two opposites um, coming out of this a bit battle scarred, but um, ready to carry on your journey with nothing standing in your way at that stage there. So Libra, that is what I have for you for the week. I do hope it helped. If you click that like and subscribe button down there. And thanks for watching. And thanks to everyone. And I will see you all for the weeklies next week. See ya. Bye.